What's up, everybody? Uh, Scotty here. Hopefully, this is working. Uh, I found out how to make my thing wider on my phone, like my front screen wider on my phone. So it's cool. It's not as zoomed in looking as a, as it was before, which is cool. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of talk a little bit uh, about friends and friendship, uh, which is something. Um, I've had issues with my entire life and not that I didn't have friends um, or I still don't have friends. I have friends. I've always had a, a friend or two, at least in my life um, that I was mostly close to, uh, but they come and go uh, just, just like everything in life. Friends come and go. Friends aren't usually forever. You have certain friends in your life that you'll find are forever. Uh, basically, I just wanted to make a little bit shorter make a little short video just kind of going through what uh what my experience with friends were for anyone who might be younger or having issues with friends just to know that life moves on uh and that not everything is permanent uh one thing i found with me in my life is if i tried to make myself happy with friends i usually ended up unhappy Whereas if you try to make yourself happy and learn to live alone and be okay with being alone, you're going to make it further in life. Uh, that's what I found anyway. Um, as soon as I accepted that I can tolerate being alone and I don't need someone there every day to reassure me about life, um, I started living happier. Um, and there's some, some kind of way where being alone, you kind of get used to it and sometimes you prefer it. Um, I, I'm someone where a lot of times I prefer to be alone. Now, I do have a lot of moments where I want to be social. Um, and you can ask anybody who I talk to, like when I first got this phone, um, I hadn't texted in a long time. I Snapchatted Facebook message, messenger people, um, but I didn't text a lot uh, to people because everybody did use everything else. And I remember I reached out to a few people, let them know, hey, this is my new number. Uh, and then I had a text conversation for the first time in a long time. And it was great. I had fun texting. Um, sometimes I prefer texting over anything else. It just feels old school, which is weird to say because I'm only 30. Um, and and when I grew up with the cell phone, because I, I got a cell phone when I was 16, or I grew up with a cell phone, texting was just becoming a really big thing. Um, otherwise, it was still phone calls. Uh, like, like unlimited texting wasn't a, a thing when I first got a cell phone. It took about a year after I got a cell phone for unlimited texting to be a thing. Um, and it was like 20 bucks a month extra back then. Uh, but yeah, so nowadays people use Snapchat and Facebook and uh discord or, or, or apps like like apps to talk rather than using texting like like on your phone uh which which is fine but sometimes i just i, I like to feel like my younger self and text people uh but kind of got off topic there uh but basically i just wanted to say if you're having issues with friends or you're finding that you don't feel like your friends are loyal um maybe they're not uh one thing I've learned in life is is I'm not loyal to anybody who I don't think could ever be loyal to me. Um, and that's hard to find out who those people are who are going to be loyal to you. It's a lot of testing um, and, and back and forth. Luckily, I have found a group of friends that I consider like family to me. Um, and they're not even like my friends from high school. Like I have a few, very few select friends from high school and like middle school that I still talk to pretty regularly. Otherwise, most of my friends that I talk to daily are people I met two years ago or three years ago. It would have been August 2020, yeah, three years ago now, uh, which I met through streaming, through Twitch. Um, and just, they're just streamers who, you know, we were part of the same like community discord uh, for streamers and uh, people I've met and talked to um, and people I consider like family to me. Um, I talk to them every day. I, I even for a while there had had one of them as a roommate. Uh, he just recently moved out for a better job. But uh, but yeah, so it's been it's been weird to see how, how later in life you find your true friends and the people who are, are going to be there on, 
in your daily life. And these are the kind of friends where if we don't talk for a while, we can pick up conversation like it was nothing. And I used to have friends like that from high school. Um, and I still do. I do, do have a couple of friends. Like I said, that I talked from high school, very few people that I talked to from high school. Um, and I never really made any friends in college. So I didn't live in a college dorm. I, I drove to college every day, so I didn't really make a lot of friends in college. Uh, but I don't talk to anyone I went to college with, really. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, if you're struggling with friends or, or going through something with your friends, and it feels like the world is ending, just know it's not, okay? Uh, friends will come and go. The ones that are worthwhile will stay. Even if you fight, even if you go through hell together, that'll make your friendship stronger if it lasts. Um, I have I have a, a couple friends from high school, like middle school and high school, where we fought all the time in high school. We and, and it, it was petty drama. It, it wasn't anything like major, like we didn't murder anybody or anything. Uh, but like it was, it was. It was petty drama that we fought over, uh, but over time it made our friendship stronger. Now as adults, we realize how dumb we were, um, at least I did, uh, and the stupid shit I would fight out uh, or fight about and get mad about. Um, a lot of it was jealousy, which is an issue on my part. Um, but I was always a friend in high school where uh, I'd get made fun of or I'd be left out. Um, and that, at least that's how it felt. It felt like I was the friend that no one really wanted around, but kept around because they felt bad if they didn't. Um, and I'm not saying all my high school friends felt the way. Like, like if you're from my high school and I went, and I went to high school with you and, and we were friends, um, it, it wasn't everybody that was that way. Uh, it was just how I felt a lot of the times. And I, I didn't say much about it uh, because it just didn't seem right to say anything about it, I guess. Uh, I didn't think anyone cared, to be honest with you. Um, but I was the kind of friend who everyone seemed to be able to just throw to the side when they no longer wanted or needed me um, until they needed something again. Uh, I always say my best year of high school was my junior year, mainly because my junior year, I had no friends. All my friends decided to leave me. I didn't really talk to anybody. I, I met one of my good friends at that point uh, during this time and hung out with, with him. And me and him still talk, not on a daily basis, but we still talk uh, every now and again. We're, we're not as close as we used to be. Life has drifted us apart. He got married. I moved to Texas. It happens. Uh, but it, it's, it's one of those things where junior year is considered my best year, so I didn't have any friends, which means I didn't have any drama. Uh, I wasn't sad. I wasn't... I wasn't trying to impress anybody. I wasn't trying to keep, keep up the status quo. I was just living my life. And, and that's when I learned junior years when I learned how to be alone and how to find comfort in being alone. Junior years also the year I started hanging out with uh, a few different people who I've known for a long time, but started hanging out with in my junior year. Uh, and then eventually my friends who left in my junior year of high school and didn't talk to me much in my junior year of high school came back like my senior year. Uh, and we, we had on and on and off again from, from then on out, like I said, a lot, a lot of petty, stupid drama. Um, and it's high school stuff. We, we've all been there. Uh, we can all look back on high school and be like, Hey, this wasn't, uh, worth it, worth any of these fights or any of these headaches or any of these heartaches that we had. So I just want to come on here, um, and make this long winded video. I, it was something on my mind where if you're going through friendship issues, just know it's not forever. Friends will come and go, uh, and then come back again and then go again, most likely. Uh, drama's gonna happen, Not no one's perfect. If you're expecting friends to be perfect and, and to know your every want and need, you're, you're gonna be disappointed. Uh, communication's key with, with friendships, with relationships of, of any kind. Uh, if, if you're feeling some type of way, don't assume the person knows and just ignoring you or ignoring how you feel, tell them how you feel. Be honest about it. And uh, maybe they feel the same way or maybe uh, they didn't know they were making you feel a certain way. I'm just saying there's different ways to go about it other than like starting a fight or ignoring the people. Uh, so, so work on it. Okay. If the friendship's worth it, work on it. My dogs are working on barking right now because of the dog outside barking. So I'm going to end this video before they bark really loud and annoy me.
Then I have to edit it out. Huh. You gonna bark? He's thinking about it. But yeah, I just want to say if the friendship's worth it, uh, work it out. Just like a relationship. If the relationship's work it, worth it, work it out. If the person's toxic, leave them. Okay? 